not to mention bringing uh, ballots from under the tables and shutting off the everything for five hours, mm -hmm. nobody seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. Never mind that, that's the old election. The country decided to overlook it. Uh, the uh, judicial said, if you complain about election uh, fraud, you had to complain before the fraud happened or else you are lodged from complaining about it. So all the complaints after the elections were thrown out because of legal doctrine and so on. Final question. Uh, the so way right now, everybody, all the states are, are suing for election fraud. The way that things are going, if you feel that there's a zero chance that these elections will be integrous, and that this administration who has put, who, who has uh, either appointed or allowed uh, pro-Islamist -is uh, 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 officials into positions of uh, national security, intelligence, policy, things like this, the way things are going now, do you feel that within four years it will be safe to be Jewish in the United States? Well, everything is getting worse. It's getting worse. It's temporarily, it may get better, but it's just getting worse because the amount of ignorance grows with the population. There's no education. I, 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 I graduated from Berkeley. I, I was there in the free speech mo movement, during the free speech movement. And when they had a strike in 1969, I just finished the army. Um, they had me speak from the other side, because military, I didn't know what they were doing and so on. Uh, so I was a very ineffective speaker. I said, you shouldn't strike. And of course, they said, strike, strike, strike. And uh, since then, I've not involved myself in, in politics because I realized I'm no good in that. And I had other things to do, like to study. Uh, but I mean, do you think it'd be safe to be openly Zionistic in the United States? It's very difficult. It's very difficult. People have taken off the mezuzahs. They are not in public because uh, randomly they get shot, blown up, and so on. So it's very difficult. But then there was a guy here who was wearing a Star of David and wearing this and that. But he's he wearing it no among Israelis. He's wearing it, but, but the, no, the whole area, it's, it's not. I, I live in a ghetto, in uh, a Jewish ghetto in, uh, in LA. There are Jewish ghettos all over the place. And that's where they live. But now you have criminal, uh, a lot of this, uh, uh, robberies, murders, also entering the same places. Yes. Maybe in a hospital it's safe to wear a kippah, but on the bus? Well, I, I had an accident, I used the buses for a long time, I had, no, I had the train in LA, I had no problems. But was it within this, the time of all this activism of uh, uh, allegations of genocide and uh, vilification. This is all recent. This is all recent in the last few months, generated by a, a upper state Jew that helped the Nazis and made um, billions of dollars. Soros, you mean? Uh, Soros and and his son Alex, Jude and his son Alex is doing everything now. Okay, I'll go. Anyhow, so so that's the that's right now what's happening. And what? Okay.